Um, so yeah, here we're demoing all play. And all play is our smart media platform. It consists of both hardware and software. So the hardware piece we call the all play smart audio module. And that's a Wi-Fi SOC that you can add to a speaker, which will make it Wi-Fi enabled and all play enabled. <clears throat> and then on the software side, we have a suite of controller apps and SDKs that will let you control your speakers from a smartphone or a tablet. And uh, all of this is for real, none of this is proof of concept. Uh, so this week we announced uh, 2014 commercial availability of a number of different speakers from different manufacturers. And we sprinkled a few of them around the room. So they're all using the audio module, so they're all going to work together seamlessly. This, uh, this is one from Blanco. Uh, this is a sound wall. Uh, there's actually a speaker behind it, which I hope I can run off with without being caught. This is a, a mosaic. Uh, this is a Medion right here. And we also have a Panasonic out of our, our booth outside, which we're showing off to the people uh, outside. And then right here, there's um, uh, a Panasonic Puck, which is just an adapter that will uh, hook up to uh, a legacy stereo without Wi Fi. Mm, okay. So that's the hardware piece. Right. Um, the software piece starts with our controller app for Android. We also have an app for iOS. And so what this is showing is a list of all the AllPlay enabled speakers and groups of speakers that are around me. So I can see an individual speaker like this, uh, this like over here. And I've also grouped together the Panasonic and the sound, uh, the sound wall together. So these are two different speakers from two different manufacturers, but they're still gonna work together. Mm -hmm. So if I go ahead and Pick the individual one. Of course, I can play to it, change the volume. Of course, the cool part is where I can actually go to the group and play to the group. So then I can also change the volume of the group or the volume of the individual speaker. So uh, another SDK that we have, which is really cool, is uh, it's a much lighter weight. It's called our Click SDK, mm -hmm. and it just basically adds an all-play button to an existing app. So now you don't have to leave your favorite app. So our partners at Rhapsody and iHeartRadio, and, and there's a bunch more. Uh, let's see, yeah, uh, Soul FM, TuneIn, Groovesharp, most of them here are actually <coughs> starting to look at this uh, all-play Click SDK. And so what it does is it um, it adds an all-play button when we're near an all-play speaker. And so um, if I go ahead and click on it, I can see the same list in here that I can see in the controller app. Do you need to see that? So now I can go ahead and I can play Rhapsody music to my group. I cannot complain, I cannot, I don't even know how much I really made. That's quick as you So, and then also because all play is built on top of all join, and we have all join in the talk. You can also do the kind of things you might want to do with your smartwatch, which is like change volume, skip a track, mm -hmm. play pause, things like that. Right. So yeah, but that's all play. And then there, there's one more thing in this room which I want to show you. Um, so yeah, of course we have LifeX bulbs in here, which you've seen, and we have the August lock. Um, then we also have a Canary, which is a, a home security system from mm -hmm. another uh, Internet of Everything startup that's crowdfunded. Uh, it's a motion detection system. So when it's armed and it detects motion, it takes a picture and sends it to your smartphone wherever you are. So then you can see if it's your cat or, or a burglar, and then you can choose you know, what you want to do with that information. So uh, all these devices are very, very cool by themselves. But when they add all join to these, they can start to evolve and work together in new ways that are beyond what maybe they were originally designed to do. So if I uh, go to the August app and lock the door, 
the August, app, the August lock will lock. You'll see a notification on the TV. And then that chirp from the canary means that it just armed. Mm -hmm. So using all join, you know, the canary heard and picked up on that event and it's now decided to arm itself. And so now if I go into the canary app, if, I, if I've left the house, I'll now see an alert that will show me a picture of what it sees. And then if I want, I can do something like sound an alarm. So, so what Aldrin has allowed us to do is it's allowed our all-play speaker and our LifeX bulbs to evolve. And now they're actually part of my whole uh, home security system. And so the, the, uh, the Canary guys, the LifeX guys, and the August guys did not have to do any joint development. They just had to add all join to their devices, and then that made this scenario possible. And this is the kind of uh, experience that we think consumers are going to get mm -hmm. and expect when you have a horizontal mm -hmm. and interoperable internet.